Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So <clears throat> this is the fourth and final uh, video in the series of videos on how to deal with student burnout. And um, we said that if you're studying Islamic studies by your second or third year, you sometimes feel like giving up. And we're talking about ways in which we can deal with that and overcome that. Uh, in the first video, we spoke about having goals and, vi and vision. In the second video, we spoke about ikhlas niyyah, having a sincere intention for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the third video, we spoke about the importance of having a mentor, right? Uh, so the next point uh, regarding uh, student burnout and how to avoid it is to surround yourself with good company. Surround yourself with positive people, uh, with people who are inspirational, with people who will motivate you to keep studying, people who motivate you never to give up. Um, make sure that your friend circle are people who want you to complete your Islamic studies. Uh, make sure that your friend circle are people who want what's best for you in this world and the Akhirah. Uh, really, if you, if you are hanging out with people who want you to give up, uh, who don't want you to be religious, uh, who don't like the idea of you becoming a scholar, uh, then most likely uh, they are going to influence you negatively. And so when you feel like giving up, <clears throat> they're going to tell you, yeah, give up. You know, they'll be happy that you give up uh, because it means you're not going to be lecturing them anymore. You're not going to be teaching about Islam anymore. Right? And so you shouldn't be hanging out with people like that. You should be hanging out with people who push you to be your best, who won't let you give up even when you want to give up. You want to hang out with people who are going to tell you that you can do it, that you are going to uh, benefit from this knowledge and you're going to benefit other people from this knowledge. So don't give up. They will tell you that they can see the positive change this knowledge is having in your life. And so therefore you shouldn't give up because the more you learn, the more you're going to change for the better. These are the kind of people who you should be hanging out with. These are the kind of people who are going to help you uh, to get through that phase of your life. Right? So that's point number four. Uh, another point that I want to mention regarding the uh, uh, give you, dealing with burnout is to seek protection from shaitan. Right? I seek protection in, uh, in Allah from shaitan, the wretched one. Um, because really it is shaitan who wants you to give up. Yeah, the, the devil knows that a student of knowledge who completes his or her studies sincerely for the sake of Allah, that individual is going to be uh, a huge problem for the devil. You know, they're going to get in the way of his... Uh, of his plot to lead mankind astray. They're going to be guiding people back to the straight path. And so the devil is going to do everything he can. Shaitan is going to do everything he can to make you give up. He's going to put these thoughts in your mind. He's going to try and lead you astray. He's going to tell you you're too sinful. He's going to tell you you're not good enough to be a scholar of Islam. Don't listen to him. And one of the most common things he's going to tell you is, how can you study Islam? You are such a sinner. Who are you to study Islam? You should leave this to the pious people. And if you listen to shaitan, you're going to give up. And to deal with that specific thought, let me tell you something. Shaitan says that to every single da'i, every single scholar, every single person who is studying Islam. Shaitan tells an individual, you are too sinful, you should leave this to someone who is more pious. You know what's the catch? The catch is he said this to everyone. Because no one's too pious. Nobody's perfect, nobody's sinless. Now one of the reasons we study Islam is to help us avoid sin, to help us overcome sin, to help us become better Muslims, right? To, to keep us from going deeper into sin. Uh, so if you are involved in certain sins now, your studying of Islam over time may help you give it up or at least keep you away from bigger sins. If you give up studying Islam, you're going to start on a downhill descent into even bigger sins. Right? And, and that's where shaitan wants you to go. So, so don't listen to him. Don't listen to these ideas that he puts into your mind uh, that you're not good enough, you're too sinful, or you're too weak, you're too stupid. These are all plots of the devil to lead us astray. So if we really uh, have high goals, we're doing this for the sake of Allah, then don't listen to shaitan. Focus on your studies. And the final thing I want to mention about avoiding burnout is to make dua. Make dua to Allah every day to keep us steadfast, to keep us sincere, to help us complete our studies to do the best we can. If we do this, inshallah, then we will do well, we will complete our studies, and we'll become people of benefit to the Ummah. So with this, I end this short series of videos on uh, how to deal with burnout for Islamic students. 
I hope that you benefited from this and uh, inshallah I'll be making a few more short video series like this in the future dealing with other questions which I get often from my students. Jazakallah khairan wa akhri dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.